Hello, people of the internet! My name is Johnny. Welcome back, finally, to yet another episode of Blocks Talks. Today's episode is a bit different because it's something I don't think many people are aware of, which is usually something I don't cover on Blocks Talks, but I was looking around the internet the other day and I came across some very interesting news regarding Illumix and I just had to put it together for a video. Because believe it or not, to this day, I still get comments asking, where's the next FNAF AR update? When are we getting the next character? Which, if you're unaware, let me give you the quick rundown of the situation. FNAF AR, or as it's officially titled, FNAF AR Special Delivery, is an augmented reality game developed by Illumix, where you battle the animatronics inside your house, once again using augmented reality mechanics. It launched in 2019 with frequent updates adding brand new characters, but once COVID hit, they had to come up with a solution. And that solution turned out to be skins for the next two years. And in December of 2021, over a year ago at this point, we got our last major update, adding Funtime Freddy. And like I said, that's where things kind of ended. If you log on FNAF AR nowadays, you still get the daily quest. It rotates, uh, rotates blasts from the past events in and out every now and then. But... That's it for updates. Which is strange too, considering Lefty, one of the most anticipated characters, already has his model and a few animations in the files already. The entirety of the Glamrock cast from Security Breach was planned to be added after the game launched, and this was something literally confirmed by CEO of Illumix, Kieran. But there's been no news otherwise. This is the official Twitter account for FNAF AR. As you can see, this is back in January 2022. Over a year ago at this point, it's just photo booth challenges. The last update we got on brand new content was December 2021, like I said. Even the official Twitter account for Illumix hasn't acknowledged FNAF AR in absolute ages. Charity streams, articles they've been in, last time they talked about FNAF AR was all the way back in October 2021. And so fans of FNAF AR have just been left in the dust. Quite literally too, because in September last year, people were able to find a brand new Twitter account Illumix actually made, as well as a brand new website for the company, both of which didn't acknowledge FNAF AR in the slightest. And even with official Q&As with Kieran Sinha back in June of 2022, all they talk about with FNAF AR seemingly is stuff of the past. When we started, we built our own game, FNAF AR. The game was an outsized success. Later on saying building on that success, Disney has invested in Illumix through its accelerator program. From there, we've opened up the technology to other entertainment companies. The Disney Accelerator was a three month long program that Illumix took part in, basically Disney giving their resources to a few brand new uh, up and coming companies. And as you can see from this list, like I said, Illumix was one of the companies that actually helped out with some AR features uh, happening in the Disneyland parks. In fact, here's actually a video of what Illumix was doing during their time with the Disney Accelerator. This is all phone based. As you can see, they brought Buzz Lightyear to life in the Disneyland parks. He was able to fly around the locations. Uh, I think they even used occlusion technology to make him go behind and in front of different objects, just like that, in front of the lamp. And then once again, behind the buildings, behind the sign. It was a pretty interesting technology, definitely showed off what Illumix can do with other companies with their technology. And it seems like that Disney Accelerator was kind of the launching point of Illumix working with other companies using their AR technology to further develop the fields that those companies were exploring. And it turns out that theory may be a bit more fact than just a game theory. Because I found out the other day some very big news regarding Illumix and their investors the other day. There was a whole bunch of returning and new people investing in Illumix, and of course, when you're talking about investing, you gotta look towards the future of your company and how you're going to use those funds going forward. And so now let's take a closer look at those investors and what Illumix plans to do with their future. But before we do that, I have two things. First up, maybe just take a few seconds, scroll down, subscribe to the channel, it means a lot. And secondly, can you tell me what Illumix, an AR company, and billionaire Mark Cuban of Shark Tank have in common? <laughs> I'll give you a few seconds, but if you guessed 18 million dollars, you'd be correct. Yup, that's freaking right. Illumix has now raised a total of 26.6 million dollars in total equity and is now backed by a whole bunch of investing companies matthew ball the author of the metaverse book sony innovation fund as well as like i said multi-billionaire mark cuban of shark tank fame sit with kieran and it's obvious she's not pretentious 
Not a tech bro, Cuban says. Kieran is super smart and she has already captured market share that has established her company and technology. The quote in a Forbes article, Illumix is enabling high quality and real-time virtual try-on, which has implications for the fashion industry ranging from higher conversion rates, fewer returns, and more environmentally friendly. While we have started with accessories, eventually virtual try-on will apply to every category and be as regular a part of online shopping as product images or reviews are today. The latest influx of capital is expected to help Illumix expand to new categories such as sports arenas, concerts, and theme parks. Simply hold up your phone and Illumix's tech will personalize the whole experience in a way that's more immersive and visceral. And actually, while researching, I came across this banner for Illumix on Sony Innovation Fund's uh, website. Okay, there it goes. But as you can see, it's got FNAF AR, it's got the sports arena, I don't know what this is, I guess a theme park, as well as the ring technology. Once again, I've quoted many times at this point, that is also up on Illumix. Illumix's website. And lastly, for this video, I want to take a look at a brand new reel that Illumix actually posted to their brand new website showing off what exactly they've been working on. It starts off with something we've already taken a look at in this video, uh, Illumix's work with Disney's Accelerator program. Like I said, they took their technology and applied it to Disney's theme parks. As you can see, Buzz Lightyear there. Uh, Minnie Mouse in front of one of the buildings, and then it moves on to something brand new that I've never seen, and I don't think many of you guys have seen either. Take a look at this. A freaking car. You can place down a car in front of your house. You can go in the car in front of your house. <laughs> it's absolutely insane stuff. Furniture as well. Hey, if you're looking for a chair, want to know what it looks like in your house? Boom, Illumix has got your back. Maybe you want to figure out what a suitcase would look like in your house. I don't know why. I feel like the chair makes more sense, but okay. The ring technology is back. New and improved. As well as glasses. Honestly, really, really insane stuff. Honestly, this entire real video shows off exactly what Illumix plans to do in the future. Like we said, they want to take a look at theme parks. They've already gotten Disney under their belt with some Buzz Lightyear technology, Minnie Mouse as well. Moving towards lifestyle. Want to know what a car looks like outside your house? Now you can now you can do it with a Lumix. Want to know what it's like to be inside the car without having to actually go to a dealership or something? I guess right there, there you go. A Lumix home. Want to know what a chair looks like? It's right freaking there in your house. Look, it even matches your coffee stand. Some really, really, really fascinating stuff. Again, the ring technology we've seen a bit in the past. They've expanded upon it. They've done glasses now. They said they're currently working on accessories. Then they're going to move on to like full outfits. Like that's insane. So what are the takeaways from this video? The future of Illumix doesn't appear to have FNAF AR anywhere in it. Instead, it's got theme parks, sports arenas, and picturing yourself in your own Ferrari while wearing a very pretty ring. Before I wrap up the video, I just want to make one thing clear. Once again, I do not hate Illumix. I do not hate Kieran. I just wish they'd give a proper send-off to FNAF AR and the fans. I think they have an incredible future, especially looking at that Instagram video of them placing down a car, placing down a chair so you can get a feel for what it would look like in your house. That technology is insane. I've never seen anything like it. I cannot wait to see what Illumix does in the future because it looks like they have a very, very supportive and amazing future ahead of them. Unfortunately, though, doesn't seem like FNAF is anywhere in there. But I'd love to know what are your thoughts in the comments down below. This might have been a weirdly formatted Blocks Talks video. It seems like I was all over the place, at least while recording it. So hopefully it comes across pretty clear and concise in the video. But thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.